And 6QW here, a replacement for the Raduino. I wrote the code, got a little green display here. You can change the uh, step function. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Here's my SI5351 with a Nano, the uh, 16 by 2 green display, and um, not all the functions are working on here uh, because I'm using the standard BFO frequency uh, off of the uh, off of the BedX40 board right here. So it will have the capability of producing upper and lower sidebands, so I can switch sidebands. And it has two VFOs, a VFO A and B. I might have a, a, the uh, BFO, it's 11998300. It might be off a little bit, but it is reading 70, uh, 7.240, which is the uh, West Coast swap net on a weekend. Ten hertz change. The VFO is on the low side, so the v the yellow is at five megahertz, where the uh, twelve megahertz filter results in seven thousand two four zero. I'm still going to have to adjust that and calibrate it. Looks like it's about 100 hertz off. Here we go. A replacement for the Raduino. So I can get this board to work here. Uh, the Raduino that I got with it, this is about third hand. This doesn't produce any RF. No RF coming out of this, so I came up with a replacement for it. Send me an email at, at crap on the bench at gmail.com and I'll send you the code. Might still be off a little bit here. You'll see the uh, lower sideband, upper sideband change, but I have, there's actually, it's a change in the software, but I don't have that, the BFO activated. This will have a tune function. If you put it in tune, the 10 hertz disappears. 10 hertz disappears there, and the tune appears. AC tune appears there, and it produces a 988 hertz pulse tone for about 10 seconds. So you have a tune up tone uh, to go into the mic. There it goes back. And uh, somehow um, the code is there, but it doesn't seem to be working. This will switch to VFOB, so it has two V, and it has the memory in it. So it'll keep the memory. It'll keep the memory, 
and the B boots up on on FT8 frequency. Anyway, Pete here, N6QW, replacing the Raduino with a kind of a cool uh, green display. Number six, Quebec whiskey, getting the Bed X40 to work with an alternative Raduino. Swap net. Oh, why? What time was that? I'm going to have to go back and calibrate the uh, VFO. Oh, okay. And I'll do that. But anyway, this is the first blush. N6QW here. Fixing the Raduino with an alternative SI5351 Nano and a green cool display. And we now got the BitX40 board working. So uh, Pete here, going to be signing off.